All right, let's head back to Elena Verdine with what's trending this morning. Good morning, Elena. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Husker Athletics have announced ticket information for the spring game as well as the football season opener in Dublin. The Huskers were originally supposed to play over in Ireland in 2020, but the game was postponed due to the pandemic. But now the international game is just a few months away and tickets are going on sale soon. The official sale starts this coming Monday, January 31st at 11 a.m. online at huskers.com slash tickets. Prices range from $175 to $340 with a limit of eight tickets per account. But if you can't wait until August to see the Huskers in action, tickets for the spring game are also going on sale soon. Season ticket holders will have first access on Tuesday, February 1st, and the rest of the public will have access on February 2nd. Now, if coffee isn't enough for you anymore, Starbucks has a new beverage to get you going. Starbucks Baya energy drinks are available for purchase online and in grocery stores starting this week. The 12 ounce cans come in mango guava, raspberry lime and pineapple passion fruit. They have 90 calories and 160 milligrams of caffeine. Starbucks coffee shops will also have them for sale starting March 1st. Amy Schneider's 40 game win streak on Jeopardy has come to an end, but even with that loss, she is not going home empty handed. Roan Talsma, a librarian from Chicago, was the new Jeopardy champion Wednesday night after Schneider missed the final clue. That clue was the only nation in the world whose name in English ends in an H, and it's also one of 10 of the most populous. Talsma got the correct response, which was, what is Bangladesh? And Schneider did not answer. But she still goes home with more than $1,380,000 in winnings. Schneider is invited to return for the Tournament of Champions this fall. Twitter has suspended the account of a bot spoiling the answers for a popular game called Wordle. If you're on social media, you have no doubt seen the green, black, and yellow tiles all over your feeds. Wordle is a free game where players get six tries to figure out the five-letter word of the day. And the hot new trend is to proudly post your best Wordle scores. But on Twitter, the bot would reply with, quote, Guess what? People don't care about your mediocre linguistic escapades to teach you a lesson. Tomorrow's word is, and next the bot spoils the game by telling you the answer. In a statement, Twitter says the account violates its rules, banning users from spamming people with unsolicited mentions. Dolly Parton is entering a new era in her career, and it's maybe not one we were expecting. The singer is launching a line of cake mixes with Duncan Hines called Dolly's Southern Favorites. Oh boy, I have always loved to cook, and I am so happy to share some of my Southern Favorites with you. Available flavors include coconut and banana flavored cake mixes with creamy or chocolate buttercream frosting. The collaboration comes days after Jenny Splendid's ice cream announced it is bringing back the country singer's signature ice cream flavor, strawberry pretzel pie. And just in case you're wondering why exactly Dolly is still so out there these days, it's because she's got a new album to promote. Like the cake mixes, it comes out in March. I bet that album's going to be sweet. Oh, I, I couldn't be more yes. excited. I love Dolly. Yeah. You know who Dolly should partner with? Howard oh. in the test kitchen. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> now that. That's all I could think yes. about when she was doing that. That would be fun to watch. It's so good. 